Hey there, welcome to day 1,949 of What You Have to Know. Sharon Hornell's from here, documenting the journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, things that have worked, things that aren't working. Today we're talking about the two pieces of content that I created today. And that is the second step of the physical goals process. We created a goals process as part of this year's Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. We're doing one thing every day to get what we want. And today is... Step two of our process, which is create and set a SMART goal. Use the SMART framework, specific, measurable, act, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Make sure that the goal that you've set as we go through the process meets those criteria. And so I shared mine. I set up an exercise every day for an hour, at least an hour a day, because I want it to be specific, one hour specific. Uh between now and the end of the year. So is that measurable? Yes, either I do it or I don't do it. If I don't do it, what's the ramification of that? And then if I do it, it's just a little check mark or hatch mark. Yes, I did it. I could track what I do and how long I do it and endurance and do all kinds of statistics, but I'm probably not gonna. It's gonna be a yes, I did it or no, I didn't do it because I wanna keep it simple. And mine is gonna be a yes every single day I did it because that's the goal I set for myself. Is that achievable? Sure is, I went for an eight year stretch where I exercised every single day until I had a, a, a physical challenge that made it impossible for me to get out of bed, much less exercise every day. I did do stretching and, and, and muscle tension and stuff, but that didn't count in my book as exercising every day. Uh, is it relevant? Yes, it's not only relevant, but it's necessary and important for me to keep my health and my movement going given my personal health challenges. And time bound, yes, every day between now and the end of 2023. So between today and December 31st, 2023, I need to exercise at least an hour every single day. Exercise to me, I get to decide what it's going to be. It can be walking, it can be exercise bike, but I can't make any excuses for the weather or whatever. I mean, I remember when I first decided that I was going to exercise every day for a year, my family the first year, since I had not been an exerciser before, built told me I was going to fail and that I couldn't do it. And I was setting myself up for disappointment and failure, which only motivated me more to do it. Right. But there were a couple of days where it was, you know, 10 55 PM and I hadn't done my exercise yet. So I went down and I hopped on my exercise bike for an hour until midnight just so that I could meet my goal. So I know I can do it. I've done it before. So it's definitely achievable Re um, and it is relevant time bound end of the year. So it meets those smart criteria. So in addition to that, and to kind of coincide with that, our idiom for supersize your business today was to shoot for the stars and talked about how I do that, why I do that, why I believe it's important and that uh, I, I couldn't find the history or where that idiom or expression actually came from. You know, we all know it means to set big goals, to go for things that other people would think are impossible. And I talked about that and why I think that's important, especially for supersizing growing your business. The vast majority of people on the planet will never even choose to grow or build or supersize their business. And that's why I focus on people that want to grow and have a positive impact on the world and make the world a better place through what it is that create they create in the world and how they create solutions for the people that they serve in the world. And again, most people will never go for that. Uh, most people just want to do what they have to do to get by and survive. And that's always a choice. So we talked about that. Uh, holiday weekend this weekend, excited family and friends. It's always fun to spend time with family and friends and have barbecues. I've got relatives coming in from New Mexico. So that's fun. Uh, if I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have a terrific day and a terrific weekend. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow.